Hello guys, uh, today I wanted to go over reef art trailers. Um, if you're an owner operator or are looking for trailers um, to purchase or if you're a company owner and want to acquire more trailers and want to know which trailer is the best and which one is not that good, then this is your video to watch. I will go over key points of each trailer that I learned over time. So let's go over the trailers. So on your left is a utility. Um, the reefer trailer uh, name is 3000R. And uh, utilities are very good at um, holding the temperature. Um, their efficiency is very good. The box itself is very good. Um, they do age well over time. Um, even if if your drivers are clean drivers, they don't hit bang the trailer, then the trailer body itself doesn't show its age. You could have a 10 or 15 year old trailer, but the outside of that trailer wouldn't look that old. However, only bad thing about utility is um, they have wood in the floor so even though your outside looks clean the inner structure of the floor of the reefer trailer over time water going like you have a forklift that has a nail in it it could rip the floor and when you uh, wash the trailer or when the dirt debris gets in there moisture gets in there it can rot in the wood and cause the uh, floor to collapse because the wood would give in when it is exposed to moisture. That's the only bad thing about utility. One good point about utility is they do way less than Great Dane and other trailer. They're much lighter, but that's one of the drawbacks. Usually you will uh, see their floor start to give when they are eight, like seven year old, 80 year old, or nine year old trailer. It does, um, like if you want, just want to keep the trailer for three, four years, then it's not a problem. But if you are an owner operator and like to um, get, and like to make things last, then a utility um, after 80 years or 90 years, um, will give you trouble because of the floor if your floor collapses and you get it vaulted you have a, like a plate on there and warehouses will give you a hard time to load produce in the trailer so if you're in the market to buy a utility buy a brand new or don't uh, get something and um, that's too old next uh, on the right I have babash Bavash is a good company. They have light trailers too. Um, only thing about Bavash is they start to show their age. After three, four years, the outer structure of the trailer will tell you the trailer is older. Uh, compared to utility, you can't tell the difference between a brand new utility and a used utility if it's treated right. Bavash tend to fall apart. Uh, over the years they don't last long um, and that's the only thing I want to say Great Dane um, is my favorite Great Dane are long lasting and um, it's a trailer that you will buy uh, today and use it for, you can literally use it for the rest of your life if you're an owner operator um, I had a 06 Great Dane. Um, I used it uh, till 2018. The floors remained clean and I, I never had any troubles. Um, and the, um, I also had a utility. The utilities um, floors start to show age over time, but Great Dane's floor stays still. They don't give, um, they remain straight, and um, 
they're just better built. Great Danes do tend to weigh more than utility. That's the only downside with Great Dane is they, they're a little heavy compared to utility. But they are worth uh, the money, extra money, because they will last you. And yeah, and um, they do hold a little bit more value than utility. When you have a great din, resell value is better because people know they last longer. Efficiency wise is pretty good. And great din is coming up with good stuff. It's called Puncture Guard. Uh, it's just a line on the uh, walls where it's very hard to um, scrape it with a forklift. Um, so that's a good feature that they offer with great din reefer trailers. Um, on the right, I have Vanguard. It's a newcomer to the family of reefer trailers. Um, they are, they're good quality trailers. They do last. And um, like Great Dane and Bavash, Vanguard has um, composite sealant on the floors. So uh, their floors uh, don't rot, doesn't rot over time. Uh, Vanguard, I I currently own one. The temperature, they hold it pretty good. And the efficiency is very good. And they're lighter too. Grey Dane is heavy, but uh, admire, admired by a lot of companies. People love them and they know they last long. Vanguard is a newcomer to the family. So I have a 19 model, but I can't really tell you the uh, how long it's gonna last me. So uh, the package they offer, um, you can get the owner operator spec or you can get the fleet spec. Currently in the market rate, um, it's better to get owner operator spec yeah, because over time, uh, fleet spec depreciates a lot faster than uh, owner operator spec um, like buying a brand new owner operator versus fleet spec it's only like three or four thousand dollar different but when it comes to selling uh, owner operator and fleet spec trailer um, you will sell the owner operator spec a lot faster because people don't really like the fleet spec where um, the doors are not stainless steel, they're flat colored. A lot of people don't like it. So if you're uh, in the market of buying it, buying a trailer and want to use it uh, after a couple of years, you want to sell it, get an owner operator spec where you have stainless steel doors on the back. So this is my short review on the trailers, trailer bodies. If you like the review, um, please like and subscribe. And you guys have a good day. Bye.